Okay, no count away, just leg. Moment of two, I gotta move my R5C all the way to the edge of the rail. And I gotta let go my hand. Oh my God, it's still whole. Holy moly, this tripod is so sturdy. Today, I'm going to show you my new universal quick release tripod system for all my travel cameras. 2D, 360, and professional level VR180 cameras, the Canon EOS R5C. It allows you to go from tripod to gimbal in a matter of seconds. Let's go! I have been traveling around the world in the last couple of months shooting 3D VR 1D metaverse video at extreme environments like the Burning Man, travel destinations like the Caribbean Islands, and very strict cities like Paris, Barcelona, and Ibiza. And I quickly realized that the importance of having a lightweight, reliable travel tripod. If you are a long time follower, you know I love to use super high monopole. This is still my key setup for U60 camera capture, like the Instar U60 One RS One Inch right here. But operating a cinema level camera, the Canon R5C right here with the dual fisheye lens while traveling is an entirely different story. For example, if you have a tripod that looks like a tripod, you won't be able to go anywhere in Paris. Oh yes, if you are planning to go to travel destination like Paris, just be aware that a tripod is not allowed anywhere in the city without a film permit. If you watch my Canon R5C tutorial, you know having a tripod is very necessary for VR 180 filmmaking. So what is the solution if you want to travel with your Canon R5C right here or the R5 if you do fisheye lens for 3D photography and 3D videography? My solution is to find a very lively travel tripod that can fit inside my backpack with a quick release system I can set up, shoot, and move on. Basically, not to draw too much attention, run and gun it. Let's start with the tripod I end up going with and absolutely love. The Unize Zero F38 travel tripod with quick release plate right here. There are actually a decent amount of good video on YouTube that review this tripod already. Lots of hype, honestly, and I want to find out how true are those hype statements really are. Disclaimer, Unize did send this tripod for me to test. I reached out to them based on my initial research. This is not a sponsored video and my opinion is my own. This is also not a review video. It is more how I use it hands-on video. And I did find some statement on the internet like comparable to any artist with play and accessory are not necessarily true. And there are downfalls on this tripod as well, but more on that later. Let's talk about why I chose this tripod. It's extremely light and it's really small. It's made with very expensive carbon fiber, like my favorite three meter pole right here. It's 1.1 kilogram, and you can easily fit it into your backpack. The shortest height is 16.7 inches. It just looks and shaped like a water bottle when it collapsed like so. It comes with this nice bag so you can further conceal it with the bag. As long as the authority does not really see you are traveling with a big tripod in your hand, you are usually good in most places. For VR wanted filming, you usually want the camera height equal to human eye height for the best immersive experience. The fully extended height of this tripod is 62.2 inches, and average height of an American is 63 inches. So the eye height is way below that. So you are usually good with VR 1D filmmaking. What about 360 video? The beautiful thing about this tripod is come with a non ball head. Right here, the center column that you can easily swap with the quick release ball head right here. 
Now you have a super sturdy base to put your three meter post on to reach the combined height of 4.6 meters. Great for time lab, long exposure to 60 photo, night lab, and HDR virtual tour photography. This center column right now is free with the purchase if you buy through my affiliate link down below. Oh, there is a 10% discount code as well for you to save some money. It is the best deal you have on the internet because I have discount code not only this, but also the cage and all the accessory. But don't go buy it yet. Watch its full review first and decide later. To finish my points, this center column right here is actually why I choose the Unite Z instead of the, the Peak Design tripod or any travel tripod because the 60 camera or VR when it came out required the base to be perfectly vertical like what I'm doing right here. For rigging and extend rail, I will first put a 1.4 to 3A head right here and then use the Nodo Linger level head here for mission critical leveling for the Canon VR system. Why? Check out this tutorial on VR warning the filmmaking right here. Then I can mount my rail and arcade switch plate on top, have the same system as my heavy duty tripod right here. The small rig heavy duty tripod. By the way, the best heavy duty tripod for cinema level camera and it's under 150 US dollars. Comment below if you want a review on that as well. This is the fastest tripod I ever owned it with the F38 quick release ball head. First, it's crazy fast to deploy the leg like so. I can just drop them all in and then it's deploy like so. And then you can just roll ahead like that to just lock all the leg. And then you're ready to shoot on any location right now. Then I can quickly swap my Canon R5C, my Insta 1 RS1 in 60 on its own invisible selfie state, and my Sony Alpha 1 for 2D capture. All my camera system have the F38 plate, the Falcon plate on the bottom to make mounting universal. My Canon R5C right here is actually on an F38 cage. I also have the F38 F38 cage uh, mounting point on my DJI right here. So we can go in between the tripod and the gimbal effortlessly, very fast. You can also go in my backpack right here easily when I'm not shooting. The bow head is very fast and adjustable as you see right here, show you. You can go in vertical mount very easy like so, like this direction or this direction. So it's not, it's different from the peak design tripod head. It also can like right here, if you like untie this knot right here, you can also turn it 330 degree, 360 degree for the full panoramic photography. So you can act potentially use it for 360 photo capture with this knot right here and a degree right here to know your exact panning degree. The play will fit in the arcade suite mount but not the other way around. My arcade suite rail or play does not fit F38 mount nicely unfortunately. Also the bow head might not be strong enough for my Canon R5C on the routing system. There is a zero wide version of this tripod that comes with a standard arcade suite mount but I do not have it to test it for you just yet. Another thing I absolutely love about the tripod is the built-in screwdriver right here on the bottom. This screwdriver will work on all screw of the tripod, including the even the base plate. So it's very useful. If you want to use it with a 260 camera and a three meter pole for time lag, especially in a very windy area, like high up in the mountain against the cliff right here, you can use this screwdriver to detach the center pole system right here and you can have a fully extended leg like so to go really low on the ground. Now you have an extremely good stability no matter how strong the wind is. It is the peace of mind you need as a fast paced travel to see photographer. And you only need to bring one tripod instead of bringing in an extra leg just for your 360 camera. One less gear to bring on travel, lighter your backpack by more than 500 grand. Okay, now let's get hands on and talk about my actual VR warning setup with 
the UNI-Z Coleman right here. Let me just turn around, you can see it. See right here. It the UNI-Z and Coleman tripod right here. First thing is like really good. This pan head actually have like fully 100, 360 degree pan. So why this is so important? You want to make sure this camera always sit between the two legs. So let's position the leg right here. You have to make sure the camera sit right between the two legs. So this, the reason why is you don't want the leg to be in the camera frame, right? When you sit in the middle, when you sit like that, you see this leg in the VR 180 because this lens is so wide, it will capture everything in here, right? So this leg is like in it. So you have to turn it like that. So that's really important feature that to have. After you pan in the center of two legs, you lock it like so. Now it's not going anywhere, like right? it's locked. And I think quick feature is uh, this, this whole setup right here, actually I could show you right now. It's a quick release, right? So uh, let me see, try to turn it in that way. And you see the quick release right here. So do it side. You hit this button right here. This is lock, but you can unlock it. And then hit that, this entire setup. So come in, come closer. See the setup. Hit it right here and get out. This is very heavy. This is like, Five kilogram. It's a really heavy professional setup with a VR 180 uh, with a giant battery. The the ZG scene right here, giant battery with the with the plate provide all kind of power source to all this setup right here. So hold this thing. It's a quick release. You can just slide right in, right here. Hit this button. Boom. Slide right in, and then you hit this button right here and lock it. Boom. Now it's not going anywhere. So it's very safe. And this five kg setup sit nicely on the tripod right here, which is great. So now let me just pan this back to facing this way and let me show you our setup. So after it even be in the center, right here, actually before we show you the whole setup, let's show you the back. So right here, this is not a tripod review anymore. I will talk about my actual setup. Right here, have the, e, the ZG Sync the V-Lock battery. Right here is a V-Lock mount, let me just show you. It's a V-Lock battery right here. It's a break, it's 160 watt power. This thing can power literally everything on my setup. Since I'm on a tripod, I can use a heavy battery right here. Slot in, and the plate will provide, let me just show you. We'll provide right here, 12 watt, 14, eight watt, uh, standard like D-tap right here. On and on, so now turn it off by now, so it's not keeping power to the camera anymore. Turn it on, here have PD power. So PD power, two PD power. Basically, I can power two Canon R5C at the same time. Why? I'm USB power anything out in here. On this side, we also have 12 watt and 8.4 watt output. And one more detail right here. So this thing can power literally anything in your cinema setup. It's a really reliable cinema camera with a giant battery pack right here, as you see. Have a car display right here. So right now it's 95% power. Uh, we give you literally anything. So this is the, my power source when I'm like on a tripod. So after we're done with, let me just lock it, just lock the, the uh, United Z right here. And now I want to show you a little bit detail right here. This thing that hard mounted in the quick release place, this mount the battery and this thing, this thing's very important, right? This is my special setup. So even I put the camera in the center of the two legs, if you turn the camera on, I still see the leg because this lens is so wide. It's a giant fish lens. You can see that. Look at the line is cutting through right here. I still see the leg. So I need to untie right this two notch right here. And it's a railing system. I can push the camera even further. Boom. And lock it. And again, depending on what kind of rail you get, you can get a longer rail and it will hold. The cool thing about this setup is this battery here is a counterweight. So if I get too much weight in the front, I can unloose this part right here. Actually, it's right here, this part. I get my finger in it. And then I can put this like lower. Now the, the whole center point of gravity is going lower now, but this battery is actually pretty heavy. Right now, if you lock it, now provide pretty balanced views. The center of ten the gravity is still falling in right here. The weight's not changing, but the gravity pulled back so I can go further. Now, this tripod leg is completely out of frame and we can really shot VR only with that. But if you need more distance, you can just get a longer rail right here. This is perfect for me because the distance right now is perfect. But let's say your setup is like, you don't have this plate right here. You need a more distance going out. You want to get a longer plate. 
And other thing is, this setup is like sitting on the ground doing a tripod shot, but let's say that for some reason you want to go on gimbal. Right here, gimbal setup. So I actually have an other Unite Z play right here uh, with the quick release. So I can easily, right here, this have a cage right here. It's the Unite Z Falcam cage. Again, quick release. Boom. Unplug the power source. Now this entire thing can get mobile on a gimbal. Again, you want to get out of this Unite Z setup to get out the Insta 1RS right here. This is a behind the scene camera, but I can take that out. For me, it's cool because it's also a handle for me to do a behind the scene, but also holding the camera more sturdy. That's a Unite Z light right here to give me more light. Uh, this is the uh, tech, uh, technical sync to provide time code in the camera, so actually sync with my lavalier mic. Uh, so this whole setup, this thing can go straight on a gimbal because the cage actually comes with an other F39 Falcon quick release. So you can set on the gimbal. Another thing about the Unite Z is the bow head is actually pretty sturdy. If you're not using an Arctic Sweet rail, the bow head is good enough. So level really fast. Like, let me show you. So there's a hinge right here. Let me see if I can show it to you. I mean, actually cannot show it to you. The hinge is right here, but you can untie it. And now the whole thing is loose, and then you just level it. There's a le purple leveler right here, but I say use the camera to help me level. So I look at the camera leveler, lock it. And it's not going anywhere. Pretty sturdy. The bullhead is actually really well built. So uh, for this minimal setup, yes, you can do that. But if you want to put on a long rail, uh, you might want to swap this head out into a flat head. Uh, again, if you open right here, you can take the entire thing out. Actually, I can show you. Not safe, but I'm going to take See, this entire thing can go out right here. Or if you need high too, you can go high as well. And this whole thing can get out. Uh, so it's a really easy setup. So after you're done, you just grab the whole thing. They can move to the other film location so you can move really fast because the leg is actually pretty light. It's carbon fiber. So I think this is my full setup right here with the United Quick Release System and two quick release points right here and right here. They can go on gimbal and then power source and all the accessory. That's how I film so fast on location. Hopefully you learned something today. I hope you enjoyed this video and find it helpful on building your own camera rig. The next video, I will go into more detail on all the little pieces I have on my Canon EOS R5C right here on my gimbal system right here. Building a universal quick release system using the Falcon, United Falcon F38 and F22 to swap camera from tripod to gimbal to camera and my way of absorbing vibration to achieve the most stable footage. If you are interested in metaverse filmmaking, create 3D VR 180 video for the MetaQuest 2 and the MetaQuest Pro. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I will see you next time.